In this video, we will discuss about the neonatal breast enlargement. Neonatal breast enlargement is a common and normal findings. It is fullness of breast on both sides and making them prominent. It is painless with no local inflammation and the infant is asymptomatic and it is self-limiting. This condition is seen in the first week of life and mainly from the day 3 and it affects both females and males but may last longer in female babies. Now, why neonatal breast enlargement happens? Neonatal breast enlargement is a normal response to falling level of maternal estrogen at the end of the pregnancy, which triggers the release of prolactin from the newborn's pituitary. This prolactin leads to breast enlargement. Now, over weeks, moreover within two months, when there is no more exposure to the hormone, the breast tissue of the neonates begins to shrink and eventually become quite flat. Now, on pressing over the breast tissue, the milky discharge or clear fluid may be comes out from the breast and it is a very common practice in Indian villages. But it is very harmful and it can increase the chance of infection. Now, is treatment is needed for this case? No. It is a self-limiting condition, so no treatment is needed. But we have to observe for any infection or any complication like mastitis or abscess formation. Now, do and don'ts of this condition like we have to maintain proper hygiene to avoid infections and will not do firm muscles for the flattening of the breast tissue and will not squeeze out of milky secretion. Now neonatal mastitis it is an infection of breast tissue and presented with redness and increased local temperature. It is very painful and associated with suppurative lesion. Most commonly it is affected by staph aureus infection. Uncomplicated mastitis usually seen in third and fourth weeks of life. Then it becomes complicated and infected. Sometimes it converts into a abscess with pus filled lesions. In these cases, incision and drainage is needful with parenteral antibiotic therapy. Thank you for listening.